<laughs> this next bit of news, I don't want to spend too much time on it because we are going to realise what is actually happening in about a month's time, but Tammy Sitch, a prosecutor, has recommended that she's going to, uh, to get 26 years. Uh, calling the WWE Hall of Famer a danger to society, a prosecutor is asking that Tammy Sonny Sitch be sentenced to the maximum penalty of 26 years in prison for driving drunk in a crash that killed a man last year. Uh, the quote from the prosecutor, By continuously driving under the influence without a valid license, the defendant has demonstrated a wanton disregard for the law and a clear refusal to abide by the law. The state believes that the maximum sentence is the only way to protect the community from the defendant's repetitive and dangerous actions, wrote Assistant State Attorney Ashley Terwilliger. 26 years uh, has been recommended by the prosecutor. How does that sit with you as a number? Uh, it breaks my heart, honestly. I mean, uh, you know, I, th there's a, a, a you know part of me that, that, that really admires Tammy in the sense of what she had done in wrestling, you know, like and not needing to do it in the ring. Uh, really, wrestling is real first true diva. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have great women wrestlers before that, Sherry and and Ducey and and even Jazz, like in around that same time, maybe a hair after. But uh, she was that first, like beautiful woman that walked, didn't look like a woman wrestler right i mean she walked uh, you know really really did have that and and tammy was a you know very bright girl i you know we would talk often in the dressing room uh to see where she's gone and see seen what addiction has done in her life uh after sitting and watching as much as we had watched uh the the absolute holocaust and devastation that was the wrestling business in the 90s uh to not you know, to, to not want to veer away from that and go some other way. Uh, but I agree with the prosecutor. There, there, there had been a, you know, to me, I've always said, if I spend one minute inside a jail cell, that would cure me of whatever bad thoughts I had. <laughs> I, you know, I, I, the idea of not being able to move around just to me, I'd have to, you know, off myself somehow. Um, you know, and if that didn't cure her for that, I, and I do think though, there's another side of this, you know, from what I heard that she was constantly given, breaks you know like mm -hmm. and you know she, i'm not i'm not assuaging her or giving her a get out of jail free card no pun intended uh but <laughs> you could see how somebody heard her going in there and say well you know these people know me they're giving me these little extra breaks and whatever else and instead of that real slap on the hand or kick in the ass uh but you know to me and, and we've talked about this off camera multiple times as far as you know hurting somebody else the fact that you did that, and I think what's going to, and I said it at the time, what's going to really do her damage is being online in the days following that. Yeah. And MFing people on there. Like it's, you know, I'm sure she has an explanation as to why she said that. I'm no tech guy, as you know, but I'm, like I always say, like, a, who in today's day and age would get on here and take a picture of themselves naked and send it to somebody? I mean, how could that go bad, right? <laughs> Universally as that happens. Uh, but to go on after doing that, like at this point, like this is the time to shut up and be quiet and stay the hell off social media. Uh, I think it's going to come back and haunt her. The fact that there were multiple times this happened and the fact that she was doing it, showing no remorse whatsoever. And then even at one point, didn't she blame the, the guy that she killed? Like it was somehow his fault. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, you know, that's, that's the kind of thing. And I'm sure Tammy doesn't really believe that uh, somewhere in the middle of that, that, that intelligent girl she used to be has to know that, uh, you know, there, if there's ever a time to throw yourself on the sword, I get the whole point of legal strategy going into a, a courtroom and everything, but that will not play well. Uh, I don't know if she's having a jury trial or a, or a trial by the judge, um, to be decided by the judge. I don't see it. I don't think a jury will take kindly to that. And I don't think any judge will take kindly to that. Cause again, this multiple occasions. And as the prosecutor says, there's a wanton disregard for, for the rule of law and really for the safety of the residents in that area, anywhere she's around. Uh, I guess the question I would put to anybody out there and uh, would you want your children playing on a street that Tammy's going to be driving down? And I think that's, you know, and I, again, I don't want to sound like I'm demonizing the girl, uh, but what she did was awful. And there was no, re 
no reason for it to, to have happened other than just wanting disregard. And I had said back when it first happened, somebody was saying, uh, and maybe Francine and I were talking. So I was talking with somebody and they were saying, well, like, it's like, you know, five, six years. I said, well, she's going to get more than that. I, I can't imagine she can get off that easily uh, because of all those extenuating circumstances. Uh, the, the fact of the matter remains that we sit here today and we talk about there's a person that is in a grave because of somebody else's actions. And again, that would be the place to throw yourself on the sword and take whatever punishment comes. And I think the punishment probably had she done that been at least a little bit less than that. Now understand the recommendation from the prosecutor doesn't mean that that's what she's going to get, but based on the circumstances here, I, I, I'd be hard pressed to see that the judge or a jury wouldn't get at least close to that because of the, there's so many circumstances involved here that really are negative and, 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 and towards her in that respect. Uh, whatever time she gets, I, I, I hope and pray that Tammy, can find the person that she used to be in there because uh, she really is an intelligent young woman. Uh, you know, again, like I said earlier about Sting, if you, you don't get to that point just because uh, you know, or, or just luck. There, there, there's a lot of cunning and a lot of planning that goes into that and strategizing and so many other things. Tammy uh, 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 had been a very bright girl. I know she must still be in there. I hope she can find it to try to help bring peace to the family that she brought so much pain to and uh, hopefully be able to get out a bit before that. I think Tammy could, if has the opportunity to do that, she could be an incredible resource to go out there to talk to other people and say, hey, like this is the thing not to do. Uh, but it doesn't surprise me. Like, I, I thought for sure that when, when this first happened, that this was going to be a you know a long stretch and whatever it is, whether it's 26 years or something lighter, uh, you know, I, I, I hope that somewhere Tammy could find her peace in there and help try that, help that family find peace in it too. It's mm -hmm. just a tragedy all around.